Hello and welcome to your summer field paleontology course. My name is Ellis Ellis and I'm going to be one of your instructors this summer. And uh, Liz Johnson is not able to be here for this video, but on behalf of both of us, welcome to the course and we're really, really excited to have you. What I wanted to do is just take a minute and show you around D2L and kind of give you an explanation of this course and how it's gonna fit in with your summer experience. So for those of you who have never used D2L before, um, take a minute and enjoy the next few minutes of this video. And if you have used D2L before and you're very familiar with it, then uh, just bear with us for a couple of minutes while I show people the basics and we'll get to how all of this ties into your summer experience. All right, so once you get logged into D2L, um, you should see a home screen that looks something like this. What I'd like you to do is go up to the top and select your GEY course for the summer. And then once you get to this home page, you can go over to the content tab at the top of the page. And over here on the left, there's a few important features. Um, we have six units that we would like you to complete before you show up for your summer experience. And so just to give you an idea, of um, what those units look like. Let's see, we'll go to unit two. All right, and unit two is all about geology, and there are four lessons within unit two. And if I want to look at those four lessons, then I'm going to come over here and say, okay, lesson one is all about plate tectonics, and I see these links out to the videos. Uh, I've got an estimated time and key vocabulary that I should be looking for within those. Lesson two is rocks and minerals. Lesson three, surface processes. Four is climate change. And then at the end of each one of these units, you have a unit quiz that you're going to be responsible for, uh, for the content in that unit. And so when I click on the unit quiz, let's say I'm ready to do unit two, um, I want to start my quiz and I say, okay, yes, I know I'm going to start. Um, once you've gone through each unit and kind of taken your notes on that unit and you think you know the content or you've emailed Liz and I through D2L to say that you don't understand content and we're here to help you with that. Um, once, once you feel comfortable with the content, you're going to take this unit quiz and it's just multiple choice, true, false, right? You can go through, submit all of your answers here and then down at the bottom, it'll go to submit quiz. And you can submit that quiz. It says, are you sure you haven't answered any questions? Don't do this. Um, you should answer all the questions. I say, yeah, I'm sure. Um, go ahead and submit that. And then it gives me my grade. And it looks like I didn't do too well. I got zero out of one on every single question. Um, and so with these quizzes, it is automatically uploading your score to the grade book. But we want to maximize your learning opportunity. And so with each one of these units, um, you have a unit quiz that you can take an unlimited number of times before you show up. So let's say you get a 70 on the first quiz and you're just not happy with that. Um, you can take it again until you get 100. And your highest score is what gets transcribed into that grade book. Um, a couple of other kind of important places. I'm going to take you over to unit one because that's where we're going to start and you've only got three lessons. It's basically log into D2L, um, get your syllabus, which you can download in lesson two and lesson three, you are watching this video. And then at the end of unit one, you'll go ahead and take your unit one quiz and you have as much time as you need to do that. And as many attempts as you need to do that. Um, I'd like to make a couple of suggestions at this point. Now that you realize, okay, I've got you know, six units, and this is how I'm going to be working through. Um, I suggest that for each one of these lessons, you should be keeping a notebook like a regular class. And as you work through these different lecture videos and PowerPoints and activities, some of them are reading activities, um, you should be taking notes and, and paying attention to these key vocabulary words. These are things we expect you to know when you show up. Um, Treat it like a normal class. And then when you take the quiz, try taking it without your notes first and see how you do. And then go back and review the things that you need to review. Take the quiz again until you get the score that you like. Um, push yourself is the other thing that I want to tell you. If you make anything less than an 80% on one of these quizzes, so yeah, if you score below an 80 it is highly advised that you review your content 
and try it again. Um, because when you get out, we want you to be able to talk the talk, and we're going to teach you how to walk the walk and how to do the actual skills in the field. Um, but you're going to have to know what we're telling you to be able to get through that. And so another really fast kind of preview of this is that um, units one and two are relatively short compared to units um, three, four, and five. Three, four, and five are really kind of um, the meat and potatoes of this class. And so, and even particularly four and five, um, four and five are kind of longer, more involved units. And so, uh, plan accordingly, right? Don't don't get through lessons or units one and two and feel like, oh, that was easy. I've got everything, and I can wait until the day before I go to un do units four, five, and six. It's not the case. Four and five, um, in particular, are a little bit bigger. And then unit six is really a fun and interesting unit. It takes everything that you've learned in units four and five and applies it to the local area that you're going to be visiting for your summer dinosaur excavation. Um, the last thing that I would like to mention about the content in D2L is it's not always going to be myself or Liz lecturing. Uh, we've pulled a lot of resources from a lot of different places, and so they're very diverse. You're going to get many different instructors in this online module. Um, in some of these videos, you might hear references to whatever course we're pulling this from. Um, people might say things like, have a great day, see you Tuesday, or hope you had a good St. Patrick's Day. Um, know that those are pulled from time-specific courses, and we're only holding you accountable for the content in those lectures, in those videos, in those readings, um, and in those PowerPoints. So if they say something like, next lecture, we're going to be doing this, well, that's part of a series, and we've only, we've only pulled one part of that. Um, the reason that we've done that is paleontology is a really, really diverse field. It combines geology, biology, chemistry, and physics. And so what we're really trying to get you is a sampling platter of academics to prepare you for that diversity and to give you just enough background in each one of those disciplines to be a competent and ready to learn student when you get out into the field paleontology course. I want to take a second and say that we're really, really excited to have you participating in our first summer paleontology field experience. Um, please feel free to work at your own pace in the D2L content, but again, we do expect you to have all of this done before day one of the dig. This is basically the homework portion of your class. But when you're here in Rangeley, you're going to be really, really busy, and we didn't want to load homework on top of that. So please complete it prior to the class. If you have any questions about the com uh, content, please feel free to email us through D2L under the communication tab. You can email your instructor. You can email other students in the class, too, if you want to do that. Um, and Liz and I both have emails available on the CNCC website should you have questions. And I believe you know our numbers. Uh, our contact information is on the syllabus. If you ever lose it, please feel free to contact us. We're here to help and enjoy your introduction to field paleontology.